Hey guys, it's Todd from Sideshow Effects once again, and in this video, I'm going to show you the installation process for our Cubase MIDI controller for Stream Deck Devices package. So one of the first things we're going to do, we have to hop onto the web and download a small piece of software that's going to help us align our ports. Now if you've installed one of our other packs in the MIDI controller series, you likely have already gone through the process of downloading Loop MIDI and assigning the ports. You can skip this part if you've already done it, they use the same ports. So opening up your browser of choice, you're going to navigate to this address and the link will be in the description below and it's also here on the screen for you, make it easy for you to just hop over to it. And you're going to download this piece of software called Loop MIDI. So you just hit the download Loop MIDI, and then we're going to double click the Loop MIDI setup. And we want to make sure that the Auto Start Loop MIDI when logging in is selected. Very important, you got to make sure that this uh, always will load up when you restart your computer, and that way you don't ever have to worry about aligning the ports every time. And then we'll agree to the license terms, we'll install. Once that's done, we're going to launch. So once we've launched, we get this dialog box here. We're going to assign some new ports. So I'll click on the new port name. We're going to overwrite this. And the first one we're going to enter is Mackie to DAW. And it's case sensitive. So it's capital M and capital D. It's Mackie to DAW. And then we hit the plus sign. We've added that port. Do the same thing again. Da to Mackie, hit the plus sign. Now we're going to add another. This will be Stream Deck to Da Track. Once again, being aware of the case sensitivity, hit the plus sign. And one more. DAW track to Stream Deck. Hit the plus sign. And there you go, we have our four ports all set up. Now we can just set this off to the side and we're going to go to Stream Deck. And we need to install a plugin here. So we'll go to, we're in uh, Stream Deck version 5, so they have the new store here. We're going to click on plugins. In the search box here, we're going to type MIDI. And it'll be this plugin here that we want to install, MIDI by Trevor Ligus Bell. Say install. Just takes a second. And once that's installed, we can close out the store. So next, we launch Cubase. In the top menu, we're going to go to Studio, Studio Setup. And on the left hand pane here, we'll go down to MIDI Port Setup. Now your dialog may look a little different than this one, but what you should have, since we just installed the drivers, you should have in the in uh, port area, Mackie to DAW and Stream Deck to DAW Track, and in the out port area, a DAW to Mackie and a DAW Track to Stream Deck. So for the in port, the Mackie to DAW, we're going to select Visible. For the Stream Deck to DAW Track, we're going to select Visible and in all MIDI. For the DAW to Mackie, select Visible, and for the DAW track to Stream Deck, select Visible. Now over on the left hand side here, we're going to create a, we're going to add a device. So click on Add a Device, and we're going to add in a Mackie Control device. And under our new Mackie Control, for the MIDI input, we're going to select Mackie to DAW, and the MIDI output, DAW to Mackie. Now in this area here, we're going to assign three functions. So for the F1 function, click on the category, and this is going to be an add track, and the command will be audio mono. For F2 in the category, it'll be another add track, and this one will be an instrument. And for F3, this will be a transport category, and the command will be activate metronome. We click apply, 
And that's our setup for Cubase. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the folder you downloaded from Sideshow Effects, your Cubase MIDI controller stream for Stream Deck uh, folder. And inside of there, you're, you're going to see this folder here, MIDI Graphics. Now, what this is, this contains all of the graphics for the Stream Deck profile. So if we open this up, you can see it's divided by Mac and Windows. We'll go over to Windows. And there's this folder here, Treveliga Spell. This folder has to be dragged over to your Documents folder. So I'll just pull open my Documents, and you just take this entire Treveliga Spell folder, drop it into your Documents. I've already got it there, so I won't do it right now, but that's where it'll go. I'll go back to our Cubase MIDI Controller downloaded folder. The next thing we're going to do is install the Stream Deck Profile itself. Now inside the Stream Deck Profiles folder, divide it into Mac and Windows again, we'll go to Windows, and you'll see these two files here. We have one profile for the regular 15 key device and a second for the XL device. So depending on which device you're working with, that's the profile you'll import. And how you do that, we go to Stream Deck software, click on the gear icon here, go to the profile section, in the drop down arrow, import. And we'll navigate to our Cubase downloaded folder to the Stream Deck profiles and in Windows. And this is where you will import either of these two profiles. And once you've downloaded it, this is the main page you're going to be presented with. At that point, you should be good to go. But one other thing I want to point out while we're here is in the Stream Deck profiles folder in your Cubase MIDI controller download is a two copy folder. Now what's in here are two more profiles, one for the 15 key device and one for the XL. And what they do is they'll take this entire profile and pack it into one folder. And I'll show you what that looks like. And this is it here. So it's just one folder and if you double click this or click on it on your Stream Deck device, it's the exact same profile, but it's all packed into one folder. The reason for this is I can click on this folder, right click, say copy, and then I can paste this into any other profile that I have on my system. So if I happen to have the Cubase Pro Profiles package, I can paste this into that package and therefore not have to jump back and forth. Let's open that up now. And here's the Cubase Pro package and you just find an empty key somewhere. We'll go to file here just for sake of argument. Find an empty key and say paste. And now we have our Cubase MIDI controller package inside of our Cubase Pro Profiles package. So it just saves you from having to swap back and forth between different profiles. You can merge this into any profile that you like to work in. So that's it, you're all up and running. I encourage you to go and take a look at the orientation video that we put together that details all the features and functions and how you use them. The link will be in the description below. So as always, thanks so much for downloading the program. We really appreciate you guys joining us on this journey and hopefully they make a difference in your daily workflow and help you to be more creative and more productive. Until next time, we'll talk to you soon.